to tell you about how China's responded to comments made so far by Nancy Pelosi since she's touched down in Taipei. In fact, Nancy Pelosi has said that we're committed to supporting Taiwan's vibrant democracy. A clear message then to China. China has responded saying that this visit by Nancy Pelosi is a serious violation of the One China principle. The message from Pelosi about a vibrant democracy and supporting it hasn't gone down well with China. Pelosi has said we're focused on a free and open Indo-Pacific region. This means great huge repercussions for India as well. China has said that US is attempting to use Taiwan to contain us, to send out a message to Beijing. Now, beyond that, Pelosi also said that America is in solidarity with the 23 million people of Taiwan. She hasn't held back. She's known to take on China time and again. Beijing has responded saying Taiwan is an inalienable part of China's territory. They're trying to establish the one China principle time and again. Pelosi has also said that U.S. opposes unilateral efforts to change status quo. Another very, very clear message to Beijing, to China, which they didn't appreciate. They're saying those who play with fire will perish by it. The strongest warning that's been issued by Beijing, by China. In fact, they followed that up by saying, we won't sit by idly. And that's what we've really seen in the sense that we've seen warnings Escalation also with military drills being conducted. Geeta Mohan, a foreign affairs editor, is also getting us the latest updates on this. Geeta, what had many worried is the news that came in late last night uh, about uh, how there were Chinese aircraft that entered into the air defense zone of Taiwan. Well, that's right. Not just last night, the Chinese warplanes have been conducting certain drills and have been. Uh, uh, going very close to the median line between the tri Taiwan Strait uh, for some time now. So the message is very clear that there is going to be consequences and action, and China certainly is going to do that. Let's begin with what China has done. Apart from the military operations, uh, uh, Akshita, the fact that China warned of economic uh, sanctions is something that certainly is going to be uh, of concern, and that already has begun. The latest coming in from Chinese mainland is that they have suspended imports of citrus fruit, chilled white hair tail, and frozen horse mackerel from Taiwan region from Wednesday onwards, which means uh, uh, from today these imports will stop. So it is going to be lost for Taiwan. And in many ways, in one, if China starts taking other economic uh, uh, decisions with regards to the not just imports but also exports to Taiwan, then Taiwan could face some serious trouble. And that's, uh, that's an area of concern. Is Nancy Pelosi's visit worth so much of economic trouble uh, for Taiwan? That certainly is going to be a question. Okay, Geeta, thank you very much for joining us with uh, all of those details. Geeta also referring to the kind of economic steps that China could take in response to Nancy Pelosi's visit. But Pelosi is expected in some time from now to also meet with the Taiwanese president. Another meeting that China will watch very, very closely. And trust us here in India today as we'll get you every single live update that comes in from Taipei and how China is reacting to every meeting, every move by Nancy Pelosi.